I'm cold. And I'm Tommy. Welcome to Broker Broadcast 10. Up first, we have Broker Trivia. I'm cold. I'm Tyler. And I'm Tommy. Welcome to Trivia. We'll be asking people what their favorite part of being in this class, and we'll also be asking students what their favorite part about watching Broker Broadcast is. Hi, I'm here with Aiden. Okay, so what's your favorite part about being in Broker Broadcast? Being able to make fun of for the cringy content I create. Okay. Hi, I'm here with... Devin. And today we'll be asking you a question. What's your favorite part about being in Broker Broadcast? Um... Stuff. Aiden does stuff. Like what kind of stuff? Like, um... Helps with me with the editing. Okay. I'm with... Breen. And today we'll be asking you a question. What is your favorite part about watching Brooklyn Broadcast? It's very cool. Do you have a favorite topic? Bloopers. Why? Why not? Mm. I'm here with Kevin. And today we'll be asking you a question. What is your favorite part about watching Brooklyn Broadcast? My favorite part is seeing the cringe in the comedy topic. Do you have a favorite topic? Probably the real or fake news. Why? Because... Sometimes you get them right, and sometimes it's unexpected. Yeah. Okay, so I'm here with... Mr. Granahan. I'm going to be asking him a question. So, what's your favorite part about having the broadcast class? Uh, the interesting news stories that students come up with for the local and for world news. Okay, and what's the downside to having this class? Students who don't get their scripts written and get their stuff recorded in time. It makes it hard to put the broadcast out. Okay, thanks for your feedback. That is all for trivia. Bye. What's your favorite part about being in Broker Broadcast? Mike. Up next, we have Broker Highlights. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm Mike. And today we'll be talking about Brookwood highlights, events, and as well as after school activities. Okay. On the 9th, 16th, and 23rd of January, the cheerleaders will have practice. On the 9th, they will also. Um, be having a student council meeting? On the 9th, 10th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 23rd, 23rd, 24th, there will be Goose Games, which is from 7 to 7.30. And on the 12th of January, there will also be a Boys and Girls Saturday Basketball. Um, second and third grade will be from 4 to 5 um, p.m. The 4th and 5th graders will have it from 5 to 6.30 p.m. 6th, 7th, and 8th graders will have it from 6.30 to 8 p.m. On the 15th, there will be a Scoopy Knot at Lake Geneva. The event is for the 8th graders' field trip. Please go. And on the 16th, there will be uh, the 7th and 8th winter concert. And on the 25th, there will be a family fun night. That is all for Brookwood Highlights. I don't know what's going on in Brookwood. I'm next to sports with Jade and Bella. Hi, I'm Bella. And I'm Jade. Today we'll be talking about sports. On December 16th, the Bears won their game against the Packers 17-24. to Next up, the top five teams in the NBA are the Golden State Warriors, Warriors, Toronto Raptors, Philadelphia 76ers, Denver Nuggets, and the Milwaukee Bucks. On Tuesday, December 18th, Boys Mustangs basketball played their first game at Trevor Wilmont against the Timberwolves. They lost 42-27, to but they did good. And the cheerleaders also did very well. That's it for professional and school sports. Bye. Bye. Good luck. Up next, we have feature student and teacher with Aiden and Devin. I'm Aiden. And I'm Devin. And we're and doing we're Students of, of the, the month. month. Hi, I'm Aiden, and I'm here with... Cheyenne. Right, this person said you are an amazing person, and you deserve this to be a Student of the Month. Is this true? Yes. How does it make you feel? Happy, I guess. Right. Next is Devin again with Isaac. Hi, I'm here with... The gunner. Um, this person said that he helps me in my math, in my math during class. How did this make you feel? Ah, good. Okay, that's all. Congrats to those who got picked. Up next is new story with Caden. 
Hi, I'm Kane. Today I'll be doing U.S. news. Up first in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, a couple's dog named Oliver chased off a robber in his house. The robbing happened on December 15th late at night. The robber entered through an unlocked door and fell around the house revivals. While this was happening, the couple was asleep, but the security camera caught him walking around through the house. The robber was in the house for 20 minutes. The dog then woke up and barked and chased the robber out of the house. The robber only took some gift cards and some credit cards, but the couple was amazed at what their dog did. Next up in Florida, there was a bear that poked around the person's decorations on their porch and then accidentally rang the doorbell. The homeowner saw the bear and repeatedly said, Bear, go away. Bear, go away. The homeowner said it was an entertainment but pretty scary. And that's it for U.S. News. Bye. Bye bye. Up next, we have Global News with Hayden. To that news outside of America. Um, next is your fake news with Josh and Maddie. I'm Josh. And I'm Maddie. And that, and we'll be asking you real fake questions. First up, we have another animal in the retention pond with the alligator. It's a very cute and cuddly duck. The alligator crept up on this duck, and the duck jumped on the alligator and tamed it. Is this real or fake? Sounds true, but it's fake. For the second story, an 18-year-old tried to board an airplane at Edmonton International Airport with a pipe bomb in his bag. However, after removing the device, guards let the man on the board. However, one of the guards even tried to return the device back to the man. Is this real or fake? This is real. For the third story, an Arkansas woman used government funds to buy her dog a tuxedo along with some other personal expenses before she was caught. Is this real or fake? This is real. Police believe Venezuela zoo animals stolen for food in mid-crisis. Is this real or fake? This is real. That is all for real or fake. Bye. Bye. I couldn't tell which ones were real or fake. Up next, we have Entertainment with AJ. Hi, I'm AJ, and welcome to Entertainment. And I will be talking about upcoming movies that I want to see this year. First up is Escape Room. This movie comes out on January 4th, starring Taylor Russell, Logan Miller, and Deborah Ann Wool. This movie is being directed by Adam Rabitel. This movie, the movie is rated PG-13. The second movie is Happy Death Day to You. This movie is going to be released on Valentine's Day. It is starring Jessica Roth as Tree Gelblin and Israel Paul Broussard as Carter Davis. This movie is rated PG-13. The third movie is How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. The movie will be released on February 22nd, starring Jay Burchell playing Hiccup Haddock and Amer America Faria as Astrid. This movie is PG. The fourth movie is Avengers Endgame. This movie is starring Chris Evans as Captain America and Robert Downey Jr. playing Iron Man. This movie is rated PG-13 and will come out in theaters on April 26th. The final movie is The Lion King. The movie stars James Earl Jones returning as Mufasa and Donald Glover as Simba and Ch Chiwetel Ejiofor for as Scar. This movie will be released on July 19th. That's all for entertainment. Bye. I can't wait to see The Lion King. Up um, next is comedy section with John, Juan, and AJ. Hi, I'm AJ. I'm John. And I'm Juan. And this is comedy. Okay, I'm here with... Gunner. All right, I got some spicy jokes. You ready? Yeah. All right, why'd the chicken cross the road? Mm, uh, I don't know. To get away from KFC. Hi, I'm here with... Noah. All right, I got some spicy jokes. You ready? Maybe. All right. Do you know why Peter Pan always flies? N no. Because he never lands. That sucks. Why? <coughs> Because it's funny. I'm here with Killian Wally. And we have some spicy jokes for you. Okay. So, um, I have a lot of joke I have a lot of jokes about unemployed people, but they never work.
Sounds like my mom, but I mean, uh, <laughs> 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 that's pretty nice. That was a nice one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I'm here on Brick Brickwood Broadcast to turn the tables on AJ and ask him a joke today. AJ, yeah. how come you don't play poker with the world's fastest animal? I don't know. <laughs> Cause he's a cheetah! Oh no! <laughs> Next, we have upcoming National Days with Bella. Those are some interesting days. Up next is open topic with Hannah, Lily, and Dakota. I'm Hannah. And I'm Lily. And today we'll be asking kids who their best friend is and what do they like. I'm Dakota and I'm here with... Killian. Okay, Killian, who's your best friend and why? Well, like, first one is Jackson Braden. He's been my day one. He's always been there for me, so like, he... Okay, what is, what is his be favorite food slash color? His favorite food? I'm, I'm not sure, but like... I know I got him in some fried chicken, so like I'm just gonna say some fried chicken. Okay. Um, how did you meet him? Uh, I met him at school in like first grade. We were playing football or something like that. Um. Okay. Well, and I'm here with Jackson. Oh, hey Jackson, what's your favorite color? Blue. What's your favorite food? Takis. What is our? How did you and Killian meet? Oh, these are for killing. No, just how did you and killing me? School. Way to give it away, Dakota. Thank you. I'm here with Presley. Okay, Presley, who's your best friend? Emily. What's her birthday? November 4th. Okay, and what's her favorite color? Gray. Okay, you're right on all of those. Oh, and I'm here with Pierce. Okay, Pierce, who is your best friend, his birthday, and his favorite color? My best friend is Matthias. His favorite color is blue. Uh, his birthday, October 4th. What was the other one? That's it. Dark chocolate. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Well, that was very interesting. And coming to a classroom near you, we actually have a book of broadcast 11 coming out pretty soon. And that's all for book of broadcast number 10. See you later. Bye.